my understanding is that old Vlad Putin done heard what I said, and uh, he, he thinks this is pretty much the end of his uh, imaginary Russian empire that he had imagined. Uh, he thought that someday he could have the USSR back. Uh, he didn't understand that uh, people have to actually like you to have an empire, and people have to actually want to be part of your empire if you're living in the modern age. And that's the thing about someone that's a dictator, it really censors things a lot. All right, so um, I think that a lot of them folks have been listening to me and going, are you sure you can launch a war out of India? And the thing is that I actually have um, special relationships with certain people in the USSR, or former USSR. Uh, one of my favorite people in all of Egypt was from Uzbekistan. She's an Uzbek, beautiful woman, really nice person. Um, thing is, I know people from all over the world. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them Uzbeks on my side. There are a lot of countries around there, but what I do know is that there are some real nice folks out there in the USSR, and uh, I ain't gonna judge a book by its cover or judge a book by its former leaders that were not very good to their people. So uh, I don't know what the Uzbeks think. I, I know that I think y'all are real sweet people. And uh, I also think, you know, it's kind of weird. I, I think them, 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 them Tunisians are actually pretty decent, so, decent, solid people. Um, it's kind of hard to explain how I can have such a problem with a religion, but still have this opinion of them Tunisians. They're just very sweet people. Probably because I know a girl from Tunis. And, uh, and, and, and Tunis people, or uh, Tuni Tunisi, what do you call them? I don't even know. Them Tunisies are, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty salt of the earth folks. Um, yeah, they got their religion. It's what grounds them. It's what brings them together. And yeah, they got to pray together five times a day, and they really like that. Because there's something about praying in the group. There's something about joining with a bunch of people at the same time, praying in the same direction, same mission. It's to bring back Allah. Allah. No, it's not to bring back Allah. It's to make sure God is whatever. I don't even know. What's the point in praying? It's so that, what's the point? It's so that you fulfill your duty, right? All I'm saying is uh, I ain't as much of a judge as you think because I was religious for a long time and I feel like I, I got some teachers in my life that point me in certain directions and say, hey, if, if you don't know this, you're going to look real silly. There's nothing like a person that actually like wants to believe in the truth, like, like a man like Lee Strobel. Lee Strobel, he, he's, a, he's a lawyer from Yale or something. He wrote The Case for Christ. He says it would have to be a big-ass conspiracy for Jesus to have not come back from the dead because everyone knew he died. He got stabbed in the side, but for some reason they didn't break his legs. And the reason they broke people's legs is because you had you you would die if they broke your legs while you're hung on a cross, especially if they left you up there for like another day. Um, all I'm saying is uh, we can write the prophecy. We can write the story monkey. And the monkey, monkey has a purpose, is to tell them chinos, hey, I know y'all hate me. Well, you hate us. You sure got a reason. Back in that Korean War, we were pretty vicious. That was one of the most vicious wars of all time. Them Marines came in, man, died like dogs. You wanna talk about freezing your ass off? That's a brutal ass war. Probably the worst war we ever fought. Plus, the Chinese don't fight us in, in Vietnam. And all, all I'm saying is that uh, you can say what you want, but that, that Kennedy, when he started dropping that Agent Orange, he hurt some people for a long time. And, um, I feel like the military didn't really have an option to drop Agent Orange in that situation because of the, the battle techniques at the time, but it doesn't change the fact that uh, the Chinos have a reason to hate us, and all these people that are in charge have been fighting us for a long time, and their their family's been fighting us for a long time, and we ain't no communists, and they, they, they're commies. They believe that, that not just Mao, they believe Karl Marx was basically a divine man. This man was divinely inspired. And you know what? There's a reason they believe that. It's because Karl Marx had a beautiful idea. He believed in opportunity for all people. He believed that there should not be a dictator who's fascist. And I agree with that, too. Uh, I know, I know I've, I've kind of endorsed uh, the Dark Ages, but... Um, doesn't mean that I actually want to live in a society like that.